And 10 TV News at 11 begins with breaking news tonight. A large fire broke out at an oil refinery in East Columbus. Now, this is the GFL refinery on East Fifth Avenue near the airport. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. This all started around 8 this evening. Right now, crews are still on the scene. 10 TV's Carly Dion live there tonight. And Carly, what have you learned? Andrew Yolanda Columbus Fire Chief Jeffrey Getter tells me thankfully no one was injured here tonight, but it took crews several hours to put out the massive flames here at the Green for Life Columbus refinery on East Fifth Avenue. And part of this road has also been shut down as crews work to put out those flames. Now Columbus Fire was assisted tonight by Whitehall, the Whitehall Fire Department at this oil recycling refinery. This is also right next to the airport and Chief Getter says they alerted officials there of the fire and because of the way the wind was blowing. It did not pose a threat and did not disrupt operations. Hazmat teams and Columbus Public Health were also at the scene to investigate what substances caught fire. Chief Getter explains some of the challenges of putting out a fire at a facility like this. Yeah, I mean, I think anytime there's a, you know, a facility like this that's involved, it, it, you know, does have challenges for us. Uh, you know, we train in it. Our hazmat team is, you know, very proficient. Uh, and so the crews did a great job containing it. Now, crews are expected to be here at the scene for the next several hours, and the cause remains under investigation. Live in East Columbus, Carly Dion, 10 TV News. Carly, thank you. We did some digging tonight and found out that GFL purchased the refinery earlier this year. It used to be called Heartland Refinery, which had fires back in 2016 and in 2012. Now, before the fires, it also had a history of odor emission issues that caused it to be shut down temporarily. That facility opened in 2009. We will continue to follow of this story as it develops here on air online at 10tv.com and inside our 10tv news app.